Hey and welcome back to the revolution and a brand new WWE 2K20 video. In today's video we're going to venture into some uncharted territory as we look at a bunch of things 2K20 could learn from Crash Team Racing. To make sure you don't miss out on any of our 2K20 videos be sure to hit that bell icon and subscribe to the channel. You can also head on over to our official website revolution.com where you'll find all of our previous 2K20 content and so much more. Now you might be asking yourselves what on earth can 2K20 gain from trying to be anything like Crash Team Racing? Well, be sure to not click off the video as I'm about to take you on a little adventure where all will be revealed. Over the last few weeks, I've been completely addicted to playing Crash Team Racing Nitro Field, or more importantly, the Crash Team Racing Grand Prix. Each and every morning I find myself rushing to complete all the latest challenges and gain as much XP as I possibly can. So much so that I even placed in the top 5% for their last Grand Prix event alongside thousands of other players. Call me a nerd, but I seriously can't get enough. For those of you out there who aren't familiar, Crash Team Racing is a kart racing game with battle elements similar to that of Mario Kart. The game series features the title of character Crash Bandicoot alongside his band of merry misfits and over-the-top villains. As part of the revamp to the 1999 classic, Crash Team Racing developers Beanox give the original title a complete overhaul when it comes to the aesthetic, while remaining 100% faithful to the original gameplay mechanics. As part of the revamp, Beanox also issued in a brand new game feature called the Grand Prix, which gives fans a bunch of daily, weekly and even event themed challenges which all correlate towards unlocking cards, characters, skins and so much more. With every challenge players complete, they are rewarded with Nitros Point, with each type of quest resulting in a different amount of Nitros reward for those who complete them. Rewards are split into three different categories ranging from bronze to gold, with each league featuring a total of six individual rewards, which can result in anything from decals to tyres and even cart colour upgrades. Once players earn enough Nitro Points to complete the gold tier, they are rewarded with an epic character skin which they can then use to show off to both friends and rivals alike. With the announcement of TK's newest mod originals and the possibility of seasonal content along with it, I got to thinking, how could 2K learn a few things from Crash Team Racing to add even more fun elements or even bring classic elements back to the game? For the last few years, fans have been extremely vocal when it comes to post content in WWE games and thankfully over the last few years it seems as though 2K finally started to listen with additions such as the Deletes of Wild, the Roderick Strong single entrance animation and several others. While there are many more things that could be done, using a system like the Crash Team Racing Grand Prix event would not only keep fans coming back for more on a daily basis but would also reward them for doing so. If 2K were to use the same sort of challenge and tiered rewards, fans would have the opportunity to unlock a bunch of alternative tyres, classic models, updated entrance themes and so much more. Every year 2K part a pretty close representation to the current WWE roster, then somebody changes a gimmick, dyes the hair or turns on the crowd and becomes a heel or sometimes even a baby face. Using a system such as this would help keep the roster up to date without giving updates to those who are unwilling to work for them. Not only that, but similar to how the Grand Prix events work in Crash Team Racing, 2K could also give each event its very own unique theme with rewards being tailored around that specific event. For example, in our mock-up we decided to create our very own Evolution 2 event which would air alongside the lead up to the pay-per-view which is rumoured to take place later this year. The bronze team would reward players with a variety of content such as Trish's emergency wrestling theme and Liv Morgan's solo run updated titantrons with the bronze ultimate reward being the classic WWF women's title held by Alundra Blaze in 1993. Next up we have our silver tier which would give fans an alternate leader attire and ask a mask as well as our silver epic reward being a playable Michelle McCool. Finally, for those willing to put in some serious grinding over the event, our gold tier would consist of rewards such as the Alexa Bliss Goddess WrestleMania entrance animation, the Evolution 2 Arena and the legendary Meg Young character for fans to play as. Having highly requested characters such as Michelle McCool would easily bring in daily WWE players who have all asked for some more diva representation over the last few years. While I would love to see more female classic superstars added to the roster, past iterations of the game haven't warranted the inclusions with fans simply wanting them in the game just because. Thankfully events such as Hall of Fame have allowed 2K to bring in folks like Ivory, Alundra Blaze and Jacqueline who haven't been contracted to WWE for well over a decade. More importantly, having a system such as this would open the floodgates to wrestlers both male and female that we haven't played with for years. 
For example, 2K could easily run an ECW event with folks like Sabu, Sandman and Kelly Kelly making their return, along with classic ECW arenas and more. Having a work and reward system for me personally as a player would work out far better in the long run and give me a reason to keep returning to the game throughout the year and also give me something to look forward to in what is usually known as the downtime. During the event, players who use rewards to complete further challenges would gain bonus nitro points, or in our case, star power, making future rewards easier to unlock. There are literally hundreds of different ways 2K could implement different themes with events such as Hall of Fame, Wrestlemania or even just simplifying it down to different types of holidays. Having unlocks such as bonus attires or patterns and textures would help for younger fans or those who don't feel as comfortable when it comes to creating updated attires. I myself know that I aren't the best when it comes to creating new attires with custom logos which is why I showcase the many talented creators out there who make things so much easier for the rest of us. As far as challenges go, 2K could easily bring in some of the features that were implemented in last year's 2K Tower mode, such as completing a match without using finishes, a pixelated filler to throw players off, and even something really challenging like reverse controls mode. There are hundreds of different ways 2K could use any of these elements, and I could literally pick apart the ideas for hours on end. I'm sure there are a whole bunch of ideas that so many of you at home have thought of that I haven't even touched upon, so if you do have an idea, pop it in the comments below so we can all start talking about it. I'm sure this won't be the last of things to come, but I'm pretty excited to start getting into the nitty gritty on the road to 2K20. If you've enjoyed the video, please leave a like or comment below and stay tuned to the channel for more WWE 2K20 videos over the next coming weeks. You can also head on over to our official website, revolution.com, where we'll be posting all the latest 2K20 news and more. Until next time, I've been The Revolution, and I'm off to play some more Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuels.